welcome back to Rapid Fire Reloaded Rule Set Miniature War Game. We're doing one of the. Uh, it's more a made up uh, game for practice, for learning the rules of Rapid Fire Reloaded. So it's uh, based on Filler Bagage, Normandy 1944. The June push through in the cane, the can. Um, it's a 15 turn. I thought 15 turns would be long enough to learn the rules of the game before I started playing the uh, uh, scenarios made up for the game itself. Okay, so we have the British turn at the moment. Um, they're pushing forward across a bridge, which is a bit of bit of a bottleneck with so much armor pushing forward. That's uh, Michael Whitman's tank there, the Black Baron. It was taken out midway through the game, but he done a lot of destruction, as you can see. So we've got a few Churchills. They should be Cromwells. I didn't have any Cromwells that, you know, finished or made up, so I used the Churchills. Firefly. Um, a load of brain carriers. An M3. Half track. Some f six pounders. Fifth Royal Artillery. And a spotter. And the church. He really was through to them to let them know where the targets are. So we have a couple of platoons of Red Devils moving up. C, B and A. That's some Shermans left of the uh, 7th Armoured Division, British Armoured Division. They lost two to Whitman earlier. And then these Churchills and the Firefly represent the uh, 4th London Year Minery. They're moving up. So we have the 901st Panzer Grenadiers. They were holding the line. Then we have reinforcements coming through from the Germans. A couple of idiots. One tiger left out of Whitman's brigade. And they have to stop all this. Okay, this is the uh, barren stage. So with a close assaults, there is none. That's when uh, tanks and troops are close to each other and they're assaulting each other. There is none to do, so we're going to go to declaring fire. So what we normally do is do the heavy armaments first in rapid fire, and then work our way down to the, the bullets. So let's do the high explosive. So it's going to be the 5th Royal Artillery firing um, and the spotter which is in here he really was through that he has spotted these guys moving under the table and we're going to try and lay a barrage down on the half track and the grenadiers okay so for the message to get through anything but a one five so the message gets through to the artillery the coordinates to fire so they're going to be firing on the half track and its men okay and then we have the tanks We've got the Firefly. You can't actually see that puffer. That hill's a wee bit bigger. It can actually block his view. But he is going to have a shot at the uh, mortar team on the top of the hill. Okay. And then this Churchill is going to have a shot with the SDK 222 the Sherman 
two Shermans are going to have a shot at the Tiger on the hill. That Churchill is going to have a shot on the auto cannon also, line of sight. You can see it. And rapid fire reloaded. Uh, you can't fire through your own man units, well, and you also have to have line of sight. Uh, I, oh, and then we've got the infantry. are going to open fire on. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to open fire on the motor team and Whitman's. Let's make a Whitman retreating from his burnt tank. Okay, that's about it, I think. Don't think anybody else can fire. Yes, that's about it. It's actually not it. Uh, just realized when I was watching the video back that we have on the hull of the Sherman VMG vehicle mounted machine gun. It's going to open fire on these Panzer Grenadiers 901st. And then we have the Brand Carrier. Uh, it's going to open up on the hardcover dugout. Uh, vehicle mounted machine gun on the Churchill, on the MP42. And uh, the vehicle mounted machine gun on the Firefly, on the uh, motor thing, line of sight. Yep, and that should be the fire for the British, which I'll do in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.